meteorologist Jeff Matthews. All right, thank you, Zach. Going to start off with a couple of tower cam shots going north of the divide and then south of the divide to show you the skies in both locations. Folks out and about playing some soccer here in Castle Rock. You see the clouds going by from time to time. It gets a little dark every once in a while, but more or less a pretty bright afternoon in Castle Rock. Now we go to the springs and I want you to watch on the northern fringe here. Watch the cumulonimbus clouds go by from the Palmer Divide storms right there and right there. A couple of storms passing through the Palmer Divide between the two locations. Right now it's nice in the springs, 85 degrees south, wind at 13 miles an hour, humidity pretty dry at 22%. And for the Steel City, 92 degrees, 5 mile per hour wind out there. Readings, that's one of the warm spots, Pueblo and La Junta at 94 degrees right now, 87 in Trinidad and Walsenburg, 91 in Canyon City. It's comfortably cool in Woodland Park. Forecast lows for tonight, talking about upper 40s for Woodland Park, mid to upper 50s springs. That's slightly warmer than last night and around 60 for the Arkansas River Valley. One thing to point out is that the Arkansas River Valley, the valley itself, may wind up with a little bit of fog overnight tonight. And as far as tomorrow's forecast highs, they look just like that. 78 degrees for Canyon City, 80 in Pueblo. Whoa, that seems pretty cool, doesn't it? It should. And there's going to be a little bit of instability in the air as well, supporting the fact that these readings are going to be on the cool side for a change. We'll get to that in just a moment. A couple of storms flaring up along the Palmer Divide, moving eastwards towards Elbert and Lincoln counties and eventually towards Kit Carson County here. They will be exiting the state in the next hour or two and a few very weak thunder showers, more uh, noise than anything else in terms of thunder, but not dropping much in the way of any liquid to the south between Trinidad and Kim. And one more little cell about to hit you, La Junta and maybe even Los Animas as well in the next hour. Meanwhile, big picture. All right, this is gonna be a big important part of the story, this area of high pressure in the Southwest, but I'm gonna return to it in a moment because coming down the pike is an area of lower pressure from Montana. And that is a compact but fairly intense June cyclone, and that's going to move south and eastwards right across the Centennial State. The best chances of rain are north of Pueblo tomorrow, late morning and afternoon. I think is a really good chance for Woodland Park and Springs eastwards tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, back to that high, it migrates across the southern part of the state. It throws the jet stream further northwards, and the heat that's going on in the far southwest bakes us here. It's going to be turning red hot Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with breezy midday conditions. Here we go. The coolest day of the lot, 72 for Sunday. Look at how warm we get in just two days, though. Decent chance for storms in the afternoon. Monday, a transitional day, breezy, bright. There may be a little verga in the air. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we can just summarize with bright and hot with breezy midday conditions. Pueblo, 80 tomorrow. How about that? That's pretty cool for a late June day. 20% chance, afternoon only but then nothing but blazing sun from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Boy, I hope you have the week off in Pueblo and you can spend the week by the pool. Canyon City, 78 tomorrow, 86 on the transitional day Monday, a little breezy there, and then 90s every single day with nighttime lows in the 60s. Woodland Park, 63 tomorrow. Good chance for late morning and afternoon storms. Maybe a little verga in the air, which is, looks like it's gonna rain, but it doesn't quite reach your head on Monday. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, ramping it right back up into the 80s for highs and 50s for lows. So I'm just warning you. Yeah. Could be a little fury tomorrow afternoon with a storm or two, but more, maybe more importantly, red hot yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. Okay, thanks, Jeff.